Now we discuss the mechanism of addition polymerization. This can be explained by any one of the following methods. The first one is free radical mechanism. The second one is ionic mechanism. These two mechanisms occur in three major steps. They are initiation, propagation and termination. In this video, we are going to discuss about free radical mechanism. Here the first step is initiation. It involves two steps. One is formation of free radicals. Second one is addition of free radicals to first monomer. First we discuss what is free radical. This is hydrogen peroxide. These two hydroxy groups are joined by one covalent bond or shared by two electrons. In the presence of thermal condition, the bond is cleaved to give the individual single electron species. This single electron species is called free radical. This is addition polymerization. In initiation, the first step is formation of free radical. The initiator will produce the free radicals. When radical polymerization is desired, it must be started by using a radical initiator such as peroxide or certain azo compounds. The examples are shown here. This is acetyl peroxide. It is cleaved in the presence of thermal condition gives radicals. Every time we no need to write the full formula. Instead of this formula we can write R. Next we see the benzoyl peroxide. Here also we get radicals in the presence of thermal condition. This is AIBN that is azobis isobutyronitrile. Here we can see how the bond breaking occurs in the presence of thermal condition. It gives free radicals with the elimination of N2. Now we have uh, free radicals. In initiation, the second step is addition of free radical to first monomer. This is a free radical what we get from the initiator. This is a general formula for monomer. Here Y is equal to hydrogen, chlorine, nitrile, etc. This free radical attacks the first monomer, gives the chain initiating species. Next uh, step is propagation. Propagation is a process in which a reactive intermediate is continuously regenerated during the course of a chemical reaction. This is chain initiating step species. This uh, chain initiating species reacts with the n number of monomers gives growing chain polymer. This uh, growing chain polymer at last comes to the end by termination. This termination occurs by either coupling or dispropanation. This is one chain end of the growing polymer. This is bulky group so we can consider as R. This is another end chain of the growing polymer. This two polymer radical combines to give the 
saturated macromolecule last we see the dispropanation termination now we have the two types of growing polymer radical that is end of the growing polymer radical here one end of the growing polymer radical attacks the beta hydrogen of another one so the bond breaking takes place like this this hydrogen radical will go to the end of the growing polymer forms a saturated macromolecule this two carbon radical combines to give the alkene bond that is unsaturated bond now we have uh, the saturated and unsaturated macromolecules are produced by dispropanation termination in the next video we discuss the ionic mechanism of addition polymerization thank you